Hey, blessed day, Great for Gab family. Welcome into Fun Fact Friday here on the Great for Gab podcast. Before I come at you with fun facts for today, I'm going to get directly to the daily verse. Daily verse for the day of July 26, 2024. The rise from the book of Genesis, chapter 45, verse 5, and it states as follows. But now, do not be upset and do not reproach one another because you sold me here. Because God has sent me ahead of you for the preservation of life. Amen. And again, it's from the book of Genesis, chapter 45, verse 5. And this morning, ladies and gentlemen, for Fun Fact Friday, I'm going to be getting this information from hold on, greenlight.com. Again, greenlight.com. And I'll be giving fun facts about the Olympics. Um, the Olympics kicks off today in Paris, um, 2024. So uh, good luck to all the 38 countries. Um, that support my podcast. Good luck to y'all country doing good in the Olympics. Um, of course, um, you know, I'm representing the United States. Um, go USA. And we're going to go dominate. We should have at least 50 gold medal uh, winners for sure. Um, it should be over 10,000 Olympi- Olympic participants. Um, but we should definitely win at least 50 gold medals. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but I'm super, super excited. And again, like I said, I'm getting the information from greenlight.com, and I will have the link um, to the article in the description of the episode. So again, directly into it. The first Olympic Games, which was in 776 BC in Olympia, Greece, was humble beginnings. The only competition held in the Olympics was the foot race. So the oldest thing that people do right now you know, the track and field, how that's, how that's grown. But, um, you know, just normal things that we did growing up, you know, the street race, to see who was the fastest in Greece back then, you know. So oh, that's pretty cool. The first Olympics was exclusive. In ancient Greece, the Olympics were an exclusive affair with only freeborn Greek men allowed to participate. So... The Modern Revival. The first modern Olympic Games was held in 1896 thanks to the efforts of Baron Pierre de Coubertin. Um, The game was held in Athens, Greece. So that was the first time the Olympic Games came back to life, which was in 1896. (laughs) What do the iconic Olympic rings symbolize? The Olympic rings symbolize the five continents united by the spirit of Olympiism. It offers a powerful visual representation of global unity. It was designed in 1913 by Baron Pierre de Coubertin, and the ring's colors, including blue, yellow, black, green, and red, against a white background, ensure that every nation flag contains at least one of these colors. So, in 1936, in the Berlin Games, the Olympic torch relay became a cherished tradition. Um, I, remember, I remember seeing a, a, a video of, of, on the uh, internet, some, probably either this year or last year, but I seen this guy in one of these Olympics, he freaking had a lit arrow, and he shot he shot the arrow all the way to the, the torch, like he hit it, like, I'm like, wow, dude, like. And uh, just just super super, archery is different. You if you're a good archer like that, you better watch out, boy. <laughs> so in the first modern Olympics in 1896, we had 13 countries participate. So <sighs> the youngest ever Olympian, Demetrios Londres. A Greek gymnast who competed at the tender age of 10 in the 1896 Athens Olympics holds the distinction of being the youngest medal-winning Olympian. Lundras' involvement in the Games is a fascinating antidote in Olympic lore showcasing the event's capacity to inspire and include athletes of all ages. Excuse me.
So in more recent times, 13-year-old Momiji won gold for skateboarding and Kakona Hiraki became the youngest to, to medal in 85 years. So um, we have another gentleman this year in the Olympics. He's 16, so hopefully he can win a medal also and join that list of children who have won medals. The Olympic Games has been hosted by over 20 countries, spanning every inhabited continent, reflecting the truly global nature of the event. This widespread hosting showcases the universal appeal and significance of the Olympics, bringing diverse cultures together in celebration of athletic excellence. Paris and London's Unique Achievement So before Paris held the Olympics three times, London was the first country or the first city to have hosted the Olympics three times. London hosted it in 1908, 1948, and 2012. Now, Paris, let me go to Paris years. It didn't have the Paris years up here. I had to add the fun fact because um, this became the third year for Paris. Hope everybody having a great day. So, the the Olympics was held in Paris in 1900, 1924, and now 2024. Almost 100 years later, a whole century from their first time, from their second time hosting the Olympics. So, the Olympic motto, all right, the Olympic has a motto. It has two different mottos, but the first motto, it meant Citus Altius Fortius, which translates to faster, higher, and stronger. It captures the essence of the Olympic spirit. It got an inclusivity upgrade in 2021 when it changed to faster, higher, stronger together. The original model proposed by Baron Pierre du Corbetin upon the creation of the International Olympic Committee in 1894 encouraged athletes to push the limits of human performance. It's a call to strive for excellence, not just for in sports, but in all endeavors. So, again... Um, I got this information from greenlight.com. Again, greenlight.com. And I will have um, that link in the article of the description. Um, so make sure you go check it out. And as always, give God glory for today. Let's make the best of it. Um, and again, good luck to all the countries and all the individuals participating in the Olympics. Um, may it be safe. May I enjoy yourselves. May you all um, give God glory for the opportunity and, and, you know, being able to give you life to put you in that position. Just make the best of it. Enjoy yourself. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing for some people. For some, it's other. Um, but still look at it and just live in the moment every time. So I love y'all. Y'all have a great today. Be blessed. Until next time. Peace.